Hi, my name is Sarah and my channel is Naughty Gnome Crafts. Welcome. You can find me as Naughty Gnome on Instagram. Today's video is going to be a collab project with Michelle of Michelle Sews Again. Michelle and I have gotten to know each other and we have even met in person and um, we've just become good friends and we decided to do another collab. We did one last year using the same fabric and this year we decided to do a collaboration where the two of us sewed the same type of garment, although we are using different patterns. And we both sewed wrap dresses. So after you finish my video, make sure you go check out Michelle's and I will leave her video um, in the description box below. So the reason that I wanted to sew a wrap dress is because my husband and I are going to be traveling to visit his family in Connecticut. His aunt and uncle are celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary and they're having a big family get together. So the um, dress code is sort of like you, what you would wear as a wedding guest, but it's not super fancy. It's not black tie or anything. So I thought a wrap dress would be a really good dress for that event, but also something that I could continue to wear in my normal everyday wardrobe. So the pattern that I chose to make is the Sew Over It Eve Dress. The Eve Dress is described as a versatile wrap dress with endless potential. With two stunning variations creating completely different looks, there's so much fun to be had with the pattern. Whether you go boho romantic for summer garden parties or sleek and elegant for every day, the Eve Dress will keep you dressed up in style. Floaty, feminine, and romantic, variation one makes the ultimate summer wedding outfit. It dreamily harks back to the 70s with, with its dipped hem, on-trend statement sleeve, and gently relaxed fit. This variation will have you dancing around the garden barefoot in no time. Understated and sleek, variation two features a more contemporary silhouette with narrow elbow length sleeves and a level knee length hem. Elegant and wearable year round, it's a great wardrobe staple, a surefire go-to for Friday evening post-work drinks. Both dresses feature a pretty gathered yoke, wrap over front, and a long tie closure. And this pattern comes in UK sizes six to 30, and I made the size eight. Now I did actually make two versions of this pattern. I wanted to make sure before I cut into my beautiful fabric for my dress that the pattern was actually going to fit me. So I decided to make a top for my first version just to test it out and to make sure that I liked the pattern. For the top, I did not make any fit alterations. And I'll tell you in the next section um, how I actually um, altered the pattern to make it a top. After making the top and trying it on, I actually decided that I did need to make a few adjustments before I did my dress. And so for the next version, I did a one inch small bust adjustment, which took a little bit of volume out of the chest. I shortened the bodice by half an inch because I felt like it hit me just a little bit too low on the waist. And I shortened the skirt three and a half inches to make it look similar to how it looks on the model. I'm only four foot nine. And so I always have to make length adjustments on all of my dresses. After making those alterations, I do really feel like the dress fits me better than the top. I do get some gapping when I wear the top because I think there's just a little bit too much room in the chest. And I'm really glad that I took the time to do the small bust adjustment because I think that the dress version actually fits me pretty perfectly. If you're enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button because it helps more people find my channel. Thanks so much for watching. For fabrics, I used two different rounds that I bought from Style Maker Fabrics. The top uses, I think it was called Latte Sketch Dot Rayon, and it's kind of a natural colored fabric background with some um, polka dots, but they have, they're a little bit more of an abstract polka dot. And then for the dress, I used a rayon twill fabric that has a black background, and then it has beautiful autumnal floral bouquets with rusty orange and yellow and uh, lilac, and I just think it's a really gorgeous fabric. Both fabrics were really nice to work with. The twill, the floral twill, was a little bit heavier than the other fabric. I think it's actually really nice for a dress because the twill fabric has a bit of weight to it and it hangs really nicely. For the top, I used about two yards of fabric and for the dress, I used three. The instructions for this were very clear and easy to follow. They include finishing steps um, all along as you go. So that's always a nice, um, it's nice when companies do that. And the only thing that I did differently than what the instruction said to do is that I, instead of using stay tape to stabilize the neckline, I just did stay stitching instead. And I did that purely out of laziness because I did not feel like cutting really skinny interfacing strips and ironing them onto my neckline. So I just stay stitched with thread and then turned it under and stitched. And I think that that actually worked just fine. Now let's talk about design changes. So one of the things about the Eve dress that I don't really care for is the sleeves. 
I wanted to make variation one, which has the high-low hem, but that version has a flutter sleeve, and I just don't like the way that flutter sleeves look on me. But similarly, I would also heard that the regular slim fit sleeve is really tight and I did not want to stress about whether or not that was going to fit me. So what I decided to do instead was to hack the slim sleeve to make it into an elbow length bishop sleeve with elastic gathering. And I actually really love the way that that turned out. I took the slim sleeve pattern, I shortened it a little bit, and then I slashed and spread and I added 10 inches to the bottom of the um, sleeve to give it extra volume. And then I just simply added a little bit of an elastic casing and put three eighths of an inch elastic into that casing. And I do have a picture of the pattern piece. You can see how I altered it. I think it worked really well and I love the way that the sleeves turned out and I would definitely use that hack again. The other thing that I ran into as far as design changes is that when I made the top, I made it as instructed and I found that the wrap ties were extremely long. The only way that I can tie this top is I have to basically wrap it around myself twice and then tie it in the back because otherwise the wraps or the ties are just too long and they hang down too far and I just did not like that look. So for the dress, I made a slight alteration. I went ahead and chopped 12 inches off of the tie piece so that my ties are shorter to begin with. And then because putting the ties on the dress is actually the very last thing that you do, I pinned my ties to where they're supposed to go and then I tried it on. And then I tied a little bow and decided like where I wanted my ties to hang and how long I wanted them to be. And because you're wrapping them unevenly, the ties should actually be different lengths. One should be longer than the other in order to make it look um, like they hang evenly on the side, if that makes sense. So I went ahead right before I attached the ties and I just trimmed a little bit off of the one that needed to be shorter. I want to say I trimmed about seven to eight inches off of just that one tie to make them look even. And that worked out really well. Um, I think I would do the same thing again if I were to make this all over again. Um, I just, I like the look of having the tie on the side. I think that it looks nicer and I did not want the ties to be super long. So I'm really glad that I made that alteration as well. Now I did let my dress and actually the top too, I let them both hang for about a week before I did the hem. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you how I shortened the top. So I just took the skirt piece, the pattern piece, and I measured from the top um, down nine inches and then I made a little mark and then I just had a slight arc um, because it's a circle skirt. So I had a little bit of an arc and then I just cut off that piece for the top and then hemmed it, did everything else the same as you would for the dress. And I think that worked out really well. Now, like I said, I. I hung both the top and the dress for a week to let the hem drop if it was going to. And for the top, the hem did not drop at all. So I could just hem it and I was done. For the dress, the hem actually did drop a little bit on one side. And if you are wondering how to even out a um, high-low hem, so was I. So I don't know if this is actually the correct way to do it, but I'm just gonna tell you how I did it. So I laid out I folded the dress in half, right? So the, the fold is on the back, just like it would be the way that you cut it out. And then the two front pieces are together. And then I could see that one side was a little bit longer than the other, and I just laid it out smoothly on a flat table, and then I trimmed so that both pieces were even. And that's how I ended up evening out the hem on the dress. And I wanna say that I cut off probably about an inch at the widest part. Um, and I think that that was a really great way to level out the hem. It was super easy and quick to do, and I'm super happy with the way that it looks now. So my final verdict on the Sew Over at Eve dress, I would make this dress again. I think that it's an extremely versatile pattern. It's super, super easy to put together. I think primarily because you just turn and stitch the neckline. There's no facing, there's no bias binding. It, I think that makes it a lot quicker, although maybe the finishing on the inside is not quite as nice or attractive looking. But for me, I think that it's good enough. Um, the way that you attach the, t the opening for the tie is really simple. I think that a beginner could definitely sew this dress. I mean, I think the trickiest part might actually be like evening up the hem if you're not familiar with how to do that. And because this pattern is so simple, there are lots of potential for hacking and doing design changes. Um, in addition to changing the sleeve like I did, I've seen many, many versions on Instagram where people have switched it up to a button closure. I've seen people make it maxi length. I've seen people replace the circle skirt with a tiered skirt, which I actually might wanna try that. I think that would look really pretty. 
And it's just a really wonderful, simple wrap dress pattern. And I think that it fits me really well after I made the adjustments. So I absolutely would make another one in the future, maybe in, um, implementing some of those changes. And I would actually think about po possibly making the top again as well. Although I think the top for me is maybe a little bit less versatile. I'm not sh quite sure how to style it yet, um, but I do like both versions and I would make them again. Now I'm just going to insert some quick clips of me modeling them for you so you can see what it looks like. I didn't really style it or go too far with the styling in this particular video because I will do that in my next video when I do my monthly makes. Um, but you can see what the top looks like. I think I just had it on with the jeans that I was wearing. Um, and then I also have the dress um, so that you can see what that looks like on. I think they're both really pretty. I do think that I can tell the difference between how the dress fits me better than the top does. So like I said, I'm really glad that I took the time to do those fit adjustments. But yeah, I really do like both and I think I will wear both. And thank you so much, Michelle, for suggesting this collab. I, it was really fun to make a wrap dress and I'm glad that I got two wearable garments out of it. So I have not actually seen Michelle's dress, although I do know the pattern that she was making. So make sure that you go check out her video and I'm gonna link that here.